Hi, my name is Steve Brandt. I'm from New York City. I actually came here when I was seven years old, uh, 57 years ago. And world peace has been part of my DNA uh, ever since. My question is on the shoulders of the gentleman from Hawaii. Uh, public engagement, uh, especially uh, Lori, perhaps, how can the Council on Foreign Relations be a force for new thinking on the question? See, I come from the engineering world, and design thinking is part of what we use. Nuclear weapons exist as a symptom of a larger cultural disease. Uh, we think we need to fight, and then we develop ways to fight because we think we need to fight. Buckminster Fuller, over 50 years ago, wrote Operating Manual for Spaceship Earth, and he showed through science that the root cause of war, scarcity of resources and thinking there have to be winners and losers on a global level, was no longer scientifically true. That kind of thinking, that the way to solve the problems of the weapons of war is to have a public dialogue engaging people on the question of whether war is actually, perhaps scientifically obsolete. We can solve our problems without fighting. That's what Bucky wrote about over 50 years ago. And so I'm looking for ways to engage people on this question of whether the weapons issue is actually a subset of a larger cultural conversation we need to have. Can we use science to advance beyond the need to settle our differences violently? I believe we can have that breakthrough, but we've got to find a place where we can talk about it. I mean. You know, they made a movie called The Day After in the 1980s, and that energized people in America to get Ronald Reagan to stop talking like he was going to use nuclear weapons. Do you remember the movie The Day After? Brilliant, ABC television. So I'd like to find a way to engage this larger design question. Do we have the potential to have a culture where weapons are actually no longer seen as necessary because we learn how to solve our differences without fighting? Thank you.